All right, hello and welcome to another edition of Attract Well Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley. Today we are joined by founders of Attract Well, Greg and Amanda Kilwine. Hey guys. Hello everybody, hello. glad you're here today. Welcome. We're so thrilled to be here today. We're gonna to be talking about setting up and running your group programs, as well as memberships uh, using your AttractWell site. Uh, if you're brand new, you don't know us, welcome. We do this every week at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, where we share insights into how you can leverage tech more effectively to grow your coaching, consulting, creator business. Maybe you're a practitioner. You, you probably do all kinds of really cool stuff. Matter of fact, let us know what that is in the comments. We're always interested to know more about you. Um, AttractWell serves an amazing and diverse global community uh, who are doing just all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, but at the core of what we do is we really help you to set up systems in your business that save you time, uh, that allow for automations where you'd like to have them. And then of course, where you wanna create leverage and sell information, like what we're gonna talk about today, you can use us for that purpose as well. So uh, good to see some familiar faces here today. Uh, if you came here looking for help, please do go ahead and add any of those requests to the Q&A. We do have that time set aside, dedicated to you guys specifically. But what we're gonna do first is get into some slides. We're gonna turn off our videos and then head over to our slides to talk about our topic of the day, which is membership sites and group programs that you can run from your AttractWell site. So what we're going to talk about today is first how to set up and run those membership programs or group programs. We'll do a little bit of show and tell if you want to see how some of these features work and how you can set them up in your system. And then, of course, we've got live help and Q&A. If you came here needing help today, please do go ahead and head over to the Q&A and let us know what you need help with. Uh, this is a live call that is designed to be a working call so that we can get over whatever might be standing in your way together and you can move forward with what you really want to get done in your business this week. So speaking of, leave us a comment. What kind of business do you run? We want to know more about you so we can know better how to serve you and your growth and your goals. So if you've got questions or you need help, add those to the Q&A as mentioned. And if you want to work together live, if you want to set aside dedicated space on a future live call, go to attractwell.com forward slash work review, and you can sign up for a dedicated space on one of our upcoming calls. It doesn't matter if you're here live or not. You can submit those questions ahead of time and then catch whatever feedback you get on the replay. And of course, if you want to be on this list, if you watch this in the future on our YouTube channel, you can go to attractwell.com forward slash office hours. So you can join us live on one of these Zoom calls that we host at 2 p.m. Eastern time every single Thursday. All right. Question for everyone here, do you have a group program or a membership offering in your business? Do you have one currently that you're running or do you have one maybe that's in the works that you're hoping to launch maybe sometime soon? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear more about what that is. So let's talk a little bit about memberships and group programs. Uh, inside of AttractWell, we're going to set these up very similarly. So if you have group coaching, but you also want to have a membership or vice versa, these are going to be structured quite similarly. The planning for these are also very similar uh, because the content is, um, well, there's really only a slight amount of difference between the two. So in each of these types of creations, you can put together and sell on our platform. You can have content, discussion, and live interaction. And uh, of course, they are run differently. A membership, the idea of a membership is that people pay monthly, right? Uh, and then maybe you add some kind of a monthly feature. So maybe there is fresh content that's added on a monthly basis. Maybe there is um, a commitment to ongoing live interaction on a monthly basis, whatever that might be. Um, and it's an ongoing thing. It is in perpetuity. That's the that's what, what a membership is set up like. And then a group program is going to be centered around as opposed to an, a potentially expanding curriculum. Group programs tend to have a set curriculum that is run inside of a set time frame. So where you may have curriculum A that is the base level stuff that we maybe get contextual add-ons every month for a year for a membership program or ongoing. In a group program, we would have whatever our curriculum might be. Uh, and then of course, inside of a set period of time, we're going through that content together, interacting, discussing, and so on. 
So just a quick hint for you guys, you put a lot of work into the stuff that you put together into the product that you create. Remember that a lot of what you do is repurposable in a lot of different ways. So if you're seeing how you can set things up somewhat similarly and run them differently, you're looking at the base of an offering. So if you already have something like this in the works, you can expand and create something new. Just a quick little idea to put in your head there. All right, so let's talk about how to plan, set up and run your memberships and group programs using Attract Well. First, we got a plan. All right, so in order to plan first, we need to make sure that we produce our core content or we, per, we plan on the production of our core content. So the core content inside of a group coaching program or a membership, maybe videos, that's one of the, the more effective and popular types of content that you could use in this instance. Um, you could also have PDFs, maybe workbooks, things like this, or just written instructions. It's entirely up to you and what you want to include. From there, we want to outline a plan for ongoing new content. So if you do have a membership program in the work, in the works, you do want to have the, um, you know, what, what they get when they sign up, right? You don't want it to be empty. If you start a membership program, you need something there that they get when they purchase. So get that core stuff together and then outline a plan for what you'll be putting together from that point forward. Because if you want people subscribing and paying on a monthly basis, you got to make sure you are delivering on that content. So make sure that that plan is in place. This would also be, uh, to be fair, this would also be true for you if you are running a group program and you are live launching, meaning you're producing the content as you are releasing it, which is something that we do go over in the how to build your online course modules that we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So from there, uh, you want to plan for any live interaction if you're using it. So obviously in a group program, there will be some amount of live interaction. Maybe you're all getting on Zoom, you're using breakout rooms, uh, you're connecting people together, or maybe you're just facilitating a broader discussion. Um, and then of course, in your membership, you may or may not use that same thing. You should certainly use that for group coaching though. Plan for it. What are the dates? What are the times? What will you cover? What tools will you use? Do you have a camera for it? Do you have lighting for it? Are you using slides? Are those prepared, et cetera? And then plan discussion. Uh, important question to ask because, you know, in most memberships, as well as in group programs, you have the social interactive element. Now, what a lot of coaches and creators will do is they'll create a Facebook group for this, right? So you get access to the private Facebook group after you've signed up for whatever, to, whatever the program is. Well, the cool thing is with Attract Well, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you could be even more effective than using Facebook by channeling your discussions into certain places so that you don't just have a free for all of people asking 27 of the same questions when they could have actually found their answer on the page. Like you have in Facebook, you can actually plan for your discussion to work in a particular way. So if you want general discussion that is just sort of open-ended Wild West, then you can have a discussion room. Um, and then of course, for topical, you can have discussion on your lessons, which we'll get into here in just a bit. And then finally, for planning, we also want to make sure you've got branded materials for your program, things that would go into your slides, any of the images that you use to brand your vaults and classes, uh, logos for the program that might go onto your PDFs, that kind of thing. Uh, make sure that we've got all this covered before we start heading over to create our stuff on the platform. So setting this up looks like the following. First, you're going to create a vault in Attract Well. A vault is essentially a container that holds all of the interaction and the content for your courses, your programs, your memberships. Uh, so this vault uh, is going to have core content. So you're going to add that to an online class, which lives inside of the vault. And then uh, of course, then based on your planning, if you wanna have topical discussions, so let's just say for instance, uh, you have, um, you have a group program and every week there is a video that everyone is going to watch an assignment that goes along with it. If you'd prefer for discussions to be kept in keeping with the weekly topics, then you would enable discussion on lessons in lieu of having a general discussion area or perhaps in addition to having a, a, a separate discussion area. Basically, the idea here is, is that you're deciding whether or not you want to manage discussion in a bunch of places or in one place or if you want discussions to be targeted or general, right? So if you want topical, we're gonna to enable discussion on the lessons inside of our online class. And if we want general open discussion available, then we would just create a discussion room. Finally, we wanna create a guide page. 
This is what we would use to set expectations for what they can um, expect to experience during the program or the membership. We can share things like our live call schedule, link to our Zoom calls, maybe even replays from recorded calls, um, how they can get support in the program or membership. And then of course, sharing what they can do to get the most out of what you've put together for them. We then want to set up payment on our vault as monthly recurring if you have a membership or as a one-time payment or with payment plans if you're using group programs. And we can go and show you where these settings are, of course, in the system, but I have a cheat code for you that's got everything that you need that's referenceable. We'll talk about here in just a bit. Let's talk about running these programs, okay? Um, running programs and memberships are pretty simple if you get the planning straight and you got the right pieces in place for it. What we're gonna do first, we obviously need to let people in the door. The way that we do that is we share the page to the vault. I'll show you where to find that here in just a bit. Um, and then we're gonna use that to actually sell the program or the membership. It's where people enter their payment, set up their account. And then of course, from there, they're able to go and access what they paid for. You will then interact in the discussion room or on lessons, just as the members of your vault do, the members of your membership program or of your group program. You'll be able to interact with them just as everyone else does. You can schedule posts and do all kinds of fun things, tag each other, add images, add videos, whatever you like. Uh, you can go live with Zoom, which is included with Attractwell at your scheduled times. And then you can send emails, texts, or app notifications to share announcements with your clients inside of these vaults. So if you have a replay that's posted or you want to put out uh, a question to the group to engage on, you can use these features in Attractwell to send that out to the members of your vault. All right, so we have you guys just to kind of make this even simpler and easier for you because there's a lot of moving parts and pieces. Even if we're following the simple steps that I've shown you today, we have an entire free course that walks you through all of these different options step-by-step. Step. So if you say, I want a payment plan, there's a way to do it. You want a membership, there's a way to do that. You want to live launch a program, you can learn how to do that as well. You can learn how to set up and run your programs, courses, and memberships. If you go to attractwell.com, forward slash online course. And uh, just so you know, you don't actually have to be an attractable customer to get in and look at this and get an idea of what's in store for you in terms of what needs to be created and built. This is, like I said, 100% free, and this will help to guide you through the planning and the execution of creating your programs, courses, and memberships using your Attractful site. So I wanna answer any questions that you guys have and also see this in action. Um, what I wanna show you first is actually where to go um, and what you can see inside of your vaults uh, so that you can adjust these settings if you wanna set up membership payments, um, where you would go to put information that you would have on something like a sales page, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you where that stuff is We'll show you a couple of examples in vaults, and Greg is actually going to also show you what all of this looks like from a mobile device if you're using the Attractwell app, because that's another really cool thing that you can now say that you offer if you're offering a membership uh, or a, a group program. You can let them know that you have an app that puts this in your pocket where they can make sure that they are connected. They don't have the distraction of Facebook when they're uh, interacting and trying to get the results that they want to get from working with you. Uh, so that's an added value that you now have if you're using Attractwell. So I see a couple of questions here uh, and I uh, just want to make sure if there's anything here that is specifically pertaining to this so that I can answer. And yeah, we got a few. Do you guys make sure that you put your questions in the Q&A so I don't miss them. Uh, so Cami says, uh, if I create a page on my website to sell a course, do I need to add them to a vault as well? Or would that mean they have to pay twice for the same course? So Cami, it depends on, uh, on where uh, you are providing the course. So if the course is inside of a vault, then they're just paying for the vault. Um, so there is one quick thing that I want to make sure that we do have clear here. And this is as of filming today, this may change in the future, but right now, um, if you have something um, that you're selling that needs multiple payments, uh, like a membership or, you know, a payment plan, you're going to want to have your clients or customers make that purchase at the vault level and not on a separate page. If you have a one-off purchase, so somebody purchases a program for a single price, uh, they purchase a course for a single price, in your case, Cami, um, they make that purchase so long as you have the page uh, the payment part of that page set up to add them to that vault where the course is, there's nothing else that they need to do. That contact would have access to that vault and they're good to go. 
after having paid. Uh, your target audience is individuals 60 and above on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is definitely a, um, a social media platform right now that's got a little bit of an older demographic, but I would encourage you to also uh, look at your local area, um, find people who are serving uh, people in that age range and uh, see how you can network with them to share um, to share leads in your network. So I think what I might have mentioned before, uh, I think we might have talked about this before, is um, you know financial and retirement planners, uh, for instance, uh, definitely have a so solid audience of 60 pluses. Um, so that would be a really great place to go, um, places where there's volunteering. Um, think about people who are readying for retirement. What services are they using? Who are the experts they're consulting? And then approach those people in your area and ask them, um, you know, if they would be open to co-hosting a workshop with you where you can teach some of these. Uh, I know you have like some some skills that you teach uh, to people in that age range around tech. So um, that's um, those would be my ideas for you. Good question. OK, can I zoom stream live into the vault or is it uploaded? afterwards yeah so for now it is something that you would you'd have them click the link and i can show you what this looks like inside of a vault that we actually use click the link they go live on zoom just like we're live on zoom right now and then you can take the recording of it and upload it later okay so let me see jessica says i'm a mental health counselor opening a healing center that will have group and memberships available i love it you can use your attract well vault for in-person and physical options. This is a really cool thing. Um, so we actually have an art box subscription. Um, another Jessica who's uh, on our platform, she actually uh, uses this subscription to teach classes, but then also um, as a subscription service to send out art supplies. Uh, so you could use this for physical products. You could use this for in-person um, as well. So if somebody is, um, if they purchase through the vault, maybe they have access to some things in there, uh, but then uh, as an ongoing thing, they would also be a member and something that you need in person, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, very cool. Awesome. So um, I'm going to head over to the Attractable site and pull up uh, one of our test accounts and show you guys what some of these settings look like inside of Attractwell. But do remember, if you want to actually go through and, and look for any of this information on your own time and you want to see it broken down into logical steps, attractwell.com forward slash online course is completely broken down in that way for you and would be really helpful for you um, just as a reference. Uh, if you're going through this process yourself. All right, so I'm gonna go in here and open this up and we're gonna take a look at it. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of real life uh, programs and memberships that we have. Okay, so uh, this is Jane's account. So I'm gonna go over to her vault here so you can actually see what programs she's offering. And by the way, this is fairly new. We do have a setup guide. So um, if you're unclear on whether or not you've done all the things you need to do to set up your member area and your vaults, definitely take a look uh, for the setup guide when you're logged in so you can actually see whether or not that is complete. So um, in this case, Jane has a few vaults. So her member area has a handful of options that you can peruse. Uh, you may have access to one or more of these things if you're her client. Uh, Jane's not real, but you know, her figurative client. So um, what uh, I believe Restore Your Vibrance would be her paid program uh, was how we set this up as an example. So we can go into the settings here and then we would create our payment options by clicking require payment, right? Require payment. And then we can choose how people access it and then of course, in this case, um, you do need to have a payment processor set up. In this case, I'm not set up that way, uh, but uh, you need to make sure you set up Stripe in your account to be able to accept payment. Um, and then you can actually pick the different payment plans uh, that you may want to make, including a membership option. Um, but real quick, if you are using payment plans or membership, you do wanna make sure that you use a checkout page message. Um, so use this like a sales page is what I'm gonna put right here and hit save. And then um, you'll actually see what link you'll want to use to, to have people actually make the purchase. So I'm gonna copy this, open in a new tab and go check that out. And you can actually see where I place the content. Nope, I'm logged out and logged in. So that's not gonna work, <laughs> hold on. Okay. Greg, how do I do that? I 
do I have to not be logged into a track tool at all? Sorry, I was replying to a chat. Well, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I wanted to show them what the checkout page would look like here. Um, because oh you know, yeah you'd have to be because i think if you log out of as, as a contact it's going to fall back to be your attractive yeah, account it, because you're logged in there so you could use like a private browsing window if you wanted to you don't yeah, have to switch yeah. your share i suppose but yeah here we go so i I'd, I'd sign in right here um let me see 14. so this wasn't okay so because this isn't actually set up yet it's not showing it the way that i want it to so let me get out of here real quick I want to find what would be one. Let me hop out of there real quick. <laughs> so you guys can actually see where you can make those changes. I guess Greg, could you show us real quick what um, what a vault looks like inside of um, an app? Yeah, definitely. I, I sure can. Oh, can you make me co-host? Looks like it won't let me share. Yep. <laughs> so you do that. There we go. But yeah, I've got the app up on my computer here so you can see it. Uh, cool. OK, so this is what the app can look like. Um, I did have this up, so it, it is already logged in. But if this is the very first time that you download the Attractable app, it will ask you for your email address. And, and this app works for both you to manage your back office uh, in Attractable or member areas that you might be in. So it works for both you and your clients, customers, or whatever. So um, all they have, all you or they have to do is put in your email address. It'll send you a link, confirms it, and then you're in. It'll show you all the accounts that you want. So um, you know the, the back office account is here. Pretty much has all the same features as uh, it does on the website. But we'll show you the member area here first. So we'll just tap on that, and you can actually link more than one account if you have more than one. If, if there's somebody who has courses from multiple people who are on a track well. Uh, so this is what the inside of the vault, or uh, this is actually the member area. Um, so down here, I'm logged in as the administrator in this case, so you can see, but this lists out all of the vaults uh, that are inside of um, this member area. So this person, well, I'm logged in as the admin, so I'm going to see them all. Um, if I were in as a contact, I would only see the con or the vaults that I have access to. Uh, maybe it's only one or two, or maybe it's all of them. I don't know, depending on what you have there. But I'm just going to go into this one here, um, tap on the vault. And I, all this is customizable, the images, background, logos, et cetera. This can all be branded to you, the colors uh, and all that. So this description is up here. Um, and then it, it shows up the contents below that. So here's a page, here's a class, uh, here's a community, a discussion room. So I can click on the page here, for example, and this is a page built um, with the, the Attractable page builder. So it's going to be um, similar if you created a web page for that. So this is just, just a page, um, nothing particular. Um, you know, that, that can be exactly customized however you want to. Uh, a class, on the other hand, like, so this is different. This is a bit more structured. Um, I can click on the class. And what this does is every class can have a number of lessons in there and they can be grouped. So this is the, the header there. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's another header here uh, and another header here. So the classes are all grouped together. You can do that optionally. You don't have to if you have a short class. Um, but now if I click on here, it'll take me into the lesson itself. And I think this account, yeah, it doesn't have anything actually in here. Um, so normally your lesson would appear if it's a video or if you've got some text or downloads or whatever, that would all appear here. But uh, people can step through and through the lessons one at a time here, or I mean, you can set it up so that uh, people can jump around any lesson they want to. Um, but that's kind of the gist of online classes. It's um, usually a nice structured format for people to see. And as they progress through here, one cool thing is uh, you can see their progress inside of the contact manager. So when you're in, and I don't have that up right now, but uh, when you're inside looking at your contact, um, and you click on their name and scroll down to the vaults area and, and click on the vault, it'll show you this entire list of uh, contents that's inside of the vault. And then for every class, for every lesson, it's gonna show you have they, have they looked at that lesson? If there was a video, what percentage of the video did they watch? Uh, whether they completed it or not. So you can kind of see people's progress, which is really nice. Um, so I showed you the page and here's a class. Here's another class. Um, so you can have multiple classes in a vault, which is nice. Um, so, you know, these are very similar. I think these have some sort of, um, yeah, this has like a, a little embedded graphic or I shouldn't say graphic, but like a little learning thing in here. Um, learning 
page. Um, but so that's just another thing you can do there. I'm gonna go back out to the list and show you then the community or the discussion room as we call it. This is where you can create the community. Uh, if you have the app, one of the really cool things about the app is any posts that you make in there will be notified to people with the app notifications. You know how the phones have the little pull down trade for app notifications. Um, this little simulator doesn't have any in there, but just like Facebook uh, or other social media sites, you will be able to, or anyone in your member area who's got the app is going to get these notifications when you have, uh, when you make a new post. Um, so the discussion room here, you know, there's a way to post here. It looks a little bit like, um, you know, a Facebook post, you know, so I, I won't do this, but like if I were to post it here, it would notify everybody that's in this vault, um, whether it's by email, email is default. Uh, I think everybody gets email by default, or if they have the app installed, it also sends the app notification. Uh, you can tag people in there, attach a photo, and even over here, you can even schedule uh, a post in the future if you'd like as well. So you can pick a time and it'll go. Um, very much like Facebook groups or other groups, uh, you can search. If you click the search icon here, you can search content that's in the discussion room so it can create an ongoing repository. If you'd like to, uh, if someone would like to customize what's in there, you can choose whether or not, uh, how often and, and what, you know, what methods that they get at email or app uh, for the notification. So, um, yeah, and so that's, um, let me jump back to the home here. There is a side navigation too. Um, in the app, which is really nice, but going back to the, the main menu here or the, the dashboard of the member area, this uh, again, this says all vaults and each one of these vaults then can have their own set of contents. Really a great way to organize things. Uh, I think a lot more structured and easier to understand than like uh, some groups which can get a little bit messy from time to time. Um, if you have more, one of the nice thing about um, the app or a couple of the nice things, there's this menu on the side, you can either tap there, or I think you can like swipe from the left to pull to pull it out. Um, but it does list all your vaults if you wanna jump around. Um, you can do that if you're in more than one, uh, you can change your contact information, see your notifications. And if you have more than one account on the app, you can switch here. Um, so like, for example, if I wanna just pop over here because I'm logged in as the administrator, I wanna hop into my back office, I can absolutely do that. And you'll see here that I'm uh, in the dashboard right here on, uh, on the app. So pretty versatile. Uh, again, if somebody's in your contacts, they won't have access obviously to the, to the back office. They would only see the member area or, or areas that they are in uh, from there. So yeah, cool. Do you have the, did you find your account that you were looking for? <laughs> <laughs> yes, awesome. yeah, I did. I just went ahead and, and picked the pipeline igniter because I wanted to actually show you guys what a checkout page looks like for a vault. Uh, so uh, so this is actually a course uh, that we ran as like sort of a mini program before. Uh, and actually this is the page, let me find it that we went to. Okay, so this is what brings us here. Um, and this is actually, if you wanted to find this yourself, it's attractful.com forward slash ignite, the word ignite. Uh, so you learn a little bit about, um, about what's in this course. So we say, yes, I want this. I want to fill my pipeline. And you can come over here to the next page and see this is what a vault checkout page looks like. Right. So if you're in the vault, I'll show you in a second what it looks like when you're inside of the vault. But this is the same address, actually. So if you're logged in and you use this members vault 65, you're actually going to be inside there. But it also serves as the checkout or payment page for folks who have not paid yet. And of course, if they have an account, they can choose to log in right there. Um, so right here, this could be one time, it could be recurring, it could be a payment plan, any number of different options here, and you can use coupon codes. Uh, and so this is um, more or less set up like a sales page where we break down what you get in each module, and then a couple of FAQs as well. So let me uh, switch my share over here uh, to this browser here where you can actually see the back end of the Attractable Pipeline Igniter itself. So this is the member area set up for it. And under payment setup right here, um, the checkout page is available to anyone with a link. And so that's the same one that I just showed you. And you can see that there are different plans available here. So um, there are coupon codes here where we get uh, $27 or $47 or whatever, you know, the prices that you want to offer. Um, and then of course, uh, if we wanted to add a plan, let's just say, uh, that we wanted this to be a recurring payment of $40 a month, 
uh, every month until canceled. And we would set it up that way, give the plan a name and people could actually choose that. That could be your only option or it could be one of several. And, uh, and again, just like you have um, uh, in the, uh, the setup guide that I've gone through today, um, you've got pretty similar options here. So in this case, we just have an online class and a page. And in that online class, uh, in this case, we do have discussion enabled on all of these lessons. So if somebody wanted to have a conversation just about this topic about currency, they can go right here uh, when they're inside of the vault itself and they can engage because we've allowed discussion here. So your uh, member program or your group program could be as simple as this, just a class and a page. In this case, I've got a page where I have embedded coaching calls. Um, let's actually go take a quick look at that here. And you can see more um, of, of sort of what this will look like for you. Um, so here's our call recordings. Um, you can see that those are all here from when we launched this, right? And then if you go back and see here, I actually have a hidden section, right? So when I ran this live, and this is for you, Melissa, <laughs> when I ran this live, um, I had both of these pinned to the top of the page. Well, right now, they're hidden on all devices because I'm not running this as a live program right now. But when I am, I have a link here, which is simply a Zoom link for a recurring meeting, right? Um, and then I do have a Calendly option here because you know, in some cases people want to actually get help on these calls. Some people just wanna tune in just like the call we're on right now, right? Um, so people can tune in or they can choose to reserve a spot and both of those options are available here. This again, also hidden because we're not doing this live. This was held at the end of 2020, this particular one that was run live. And then there's uh, the set of expectations uh, for, for what people can expect. So this kind of served the purpose as the, 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 ex the expectation setting uh, guide page, as well as sort of a, a place to keep all of these uh, recordings from our calls. So um, again, you can use the model that I'm showing you here for a membership program. Just make sure that you've got plans for how you are going to expand and add new lessons to your online content, um, or simply you know, plan to add more of those recorded videos from the live calls uh, that you're hosting, depending on whatever that value add is that you keep there monthly to justify that ongoing uh, recurring charge. So you could go in and add new content to your online class by adding a lesson. Um, you could, um, you know, you, you could add another page with other videos on it. The sky's kind of the limit there as to how you can choose to set that kind of thing up. All right, so uh, question. Apparently have a campaign in a vault that says it's not set up correctly. Um, yes, we can definitely check that out here in a second. All right, if you have a, recur a recurring monthly payment group, but the group price increases over time, can the original members continue to pay the lower price each month than the new members pay the new higher monthly price? Greg? <laughs> Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, the way that works with uh, Stripe, so it, it does keep them at um, whatever the price was that they originally signed up for. It's actually more work if you wanted the original people to go and increase price. You'd have to go into the Stripe dashboard and like edit the amount that they're getting paid on their subscription or that you would be collecting on each subscription. Um, so that's actually what happens. What you would probably do in this case, um, you'd go into that screen kind of like Ashley was showing where it has all the payment plans you would deactivate the one with the lower price, add a new one for the higher price, and then everyone new would get that new payment plan. So yeah, you can absolutely do that. It's a great way to start off with like, you're just launching it, you got some sort of like founders bonus or whatever, like super discount for life kind of thing. Um, yeah, great way to do that. And then everyone's kind of locked in until um, until the end of time, <laughs> ideally. Excellent, yes. Perfect. Yeah. And what I would encourage as well, just kind of depending on what your strategy is, is that you um, is that you you almost sort of relaunch the program. Uh, you know, if, if you want to move people who are on a plan level up to a higher price, uh, find a, a way to sort of reframe the value of what you're offering and how it's so much better if you do this. Right. And then you make that the new payment option. Uh, and yeah, I love that idea. OK, so Melissa, let's uh, let's talk about your uh about your vault campaign i'm going to bring you out to chat and guys if anyone else has questions here feel free we're glad to bring you out whether it's you know about 
a vault like what we're talking about here today, or maybe you're just wondering if trackball is right for you and you want to have a conversation, we're here for that. Just let us know. Um, hey, Melissa. Hi. Hi. All right. So which vault are we talking about? Okay. So I've got a new member and a new ambassador vault, I've, and they're both showing the same error message on the you know, the new little box up there at the top. So where it says ULA ambassadors and ULA members. So if you click on edit vault, you'll see right at the top, the two red X's. So the first one says this vault's campaign is not set up correctly. It will not send a link. So I if, just thought maybe you could walk me through what is not set up correctly. Ah, so you have no campaign attached. Okay. So when you add someone to a vault, um, the system needs to be able to send them a message that says, uh, go here, do this, do this. And also we have an app, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what you want to do, and this is uh, what, what I like to think of as like best practices for this, is that you go to campaigns and look for the built-in welcome to vault. So just search vault, because we already have a working example of this for you. So there we go. So about welcome to vault campaign. Uh, we're going to make a copy of this and this will be the um, uh, ULA new member vault. Uh, and then the other one would be, would be ULA new brand partner vault um, or ULA brand partner vault. So you've got one message in here. That's all you really need. And uh, this vault name, because it's gonna be attached to your vault is going to say whatever it is that you have uh, your, your vault named. Okay. So change this to whatever you want. Just keep the things in the brackets and on the buttons the same. Um, and then, yeah, you just basically say, Hey, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Da, 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 da. Our group is called vault name. Um, and this is where you can find this, that, and the other thing, um, follow the directions below to get access. Click here, enter your email address when asked, and then and basically this is it. So when we save this, um, you're going to see that that um, that notification will go away. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that's that's basically all that's really left to do there. Is well, to, that was um, an easy fix. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, a proper <laughs> a proper vault campaign um, because it has code built into it. We don't expect you to like you know learn how to fish out that code and figure it out. You know what can go where, how to say what or what. So now we can just look for the uh, ULA new member vault, uh, save that and see it goes away. Okay. Yep. Now a pre-entry campaign is something that you would wanna put here. If for instance, you had a campaign that was really selling the vault, if you like, like a sales campaign, um, okay. or in the case of new members, um, what I like to do with this, and it depends on your business and how you run it. So if you have access to your entire organizational file in your network marketing company, and you wanna invite everyone to get your resources, then you're gonna send a campaign to them. That's like, you know, hey, you may or may not know me, but you might like to have this stuff that I've got, click here and then, you know, you can get access and that would add them to the vault that click here, use an automation for that. And then um, this campaign would stop sending because, you know, if you sent one a couple of days later, that was, you know, like, Hey, by the way, there was that thing I told you about, do you still want it? Um, it would stop sending the sales campaign or that campaign uh, to them. So it's fine to have no campaign here. If you're not using a campaign uh, mm -hmm. to get them into the vault, but definitely use a, um, a, like a vault campaign template, like to actually create this. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That was easy. Okay. That's done. Cheryl says, I, if I have unlimited vaults, how would you suggest I structure paid wellness coaching? If I already have a young living member vault for onboarding. Ooh. So you would have, um, it'd be a completely separate vault. Right, so your paid wellness coaching uh, is something that you would put a price on. So you have a separate vault, it's priced, it has its own curriculum, right? So for your wellness coaching, think about the things that you repeat on an ongoing basis with your clients all the time. You know, you're getting them uh, oriented with a certain way of eating, a way of sleeping, drinking, whatever, right? Um, and so those can be little pieces of information that you put into an online class. Um, and then you could have links in there to, um, to calls, uh, you know, with you, maybe to schedule you on your calendar, things like that. And then that would be something that's available separate from that vault that's for serving, uh, for, for serving your customers in your downlighting and living. 
Um, the other thing that you could do here, depending on the coaching and what you really want to offer, is if you wanted to have something that is paid for everyone else, but free for your Young Living peeps, then you could have, um, basically you could manually add those people to your vault and bypass the payment um, for that, uh, that wellness coaching vault. So if you wanted to basically say, hey, um, you know, if you're, you know, if you're buying these products from me, you're going to really benefit from, you know, having access to this program. And, uh, and so long as you're a customer, get on monthly subscription, you get access to it. And so you give them free access because um, that keeps them buying and that's good for your residual, right? Okay, so that's what I would do there. Um, can we duplicate a vault with all the content intact? It doesn't duplicate discussion rooms, right? Vaults, do they? Uh, there isn't a copy feature, but kind of the workaround is you create a resource bundle and claim it yourself. Uh, it will copy the discussion room as well if you do it that way. Okay. So that's a nice little so workaround. That's the way to do it, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so create a, a resource bundle with everything in the vault in it and then claim it for yourself. So make it like you're going to share it with someone else, but then you claim it and then you have all of it. Okay, excellent. So my coaching offering would be one to one and masterclass and workshops. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you could have all of those things for sure. So um, I would I would look at it like a ladder, right? Maybe you have a workshop like that's, you know, lower tier priced, maybe it's 50 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. And people can join in. It's a big group thing. And then in that little workshop, or maybe it's even free in that workshop, you offer the opportunity for them to get into a masterclass. If you're if there's a distinction for you in between these two things. Um, and then, of course, for the people who pay like they call this thing in internet marketing a tripwire, right? Where somebody like you offer an opportunity in your funnel for someone to make a purchase. And then the likelihood of that person making a purchase again skyrockets compared to if they were just a lead uh, who got something for free. So um, so yeah, you could you could set this up as a ladder where you have like a little free thing or, or a semi cheap thing um, that you're giving people access to. And then the people who purchase whatever that thing is, those are gonna be the ones who are great to really kind of market the one-on-one -on -one services too, which should be of course your highest paid um, offering that um, you don't really do as much with as many people because your time is your most precious commodity. So yes, you have your one-on-one. -on -one. And the cool thing is too, um, and I can, I think I've shown you guys an example of this before. Um, I work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I, I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do but the bulk of the content that's covered in one-on-one -on -one coaching is actually inside of online classes that already exist. So basically what's happening is, is I get clients onboarded into a system where we get all of the input information that we need from them on an automated basis using one of our own vaults. Um, and then um, as we're working together, we do have one-on-one -on -one calls, but the subject of those one-on-one -on -one calls is, you know, what lesson do I want to point you toward that I already have that exists that teaches this thing that we need to know to perform this next step? And then we repeat that, right? So they, they learn the thing, they perform the action, we get back together. Maybe we create something, right? And then we repeat that cycle. So uh, for you as a wellness coach, um, this could very simply be that you have um, a lesson where they learn a thing uh, and then they get a, a meal plan or something like that and they follow that. And then after a week passes, they upload their food diary to you and then they schedule a call. So by the time you get on the call with them, you've looked through the food diary, maybe they've answered some questions about symptoms and things like that. And then um, you're able to kind of continue that flow with a lot of things being automated and supported by things that you already recorded, stuff that you already made um, so that they can, um, and it's a benefit to both of you, right? So, because they might want to rewatch it at 2 a.m. and well, you're just not available then, <laughs> you know, and they can get that same information and then uh, be that much more prepared uh, once they get uh, back together with you for your live call. Big, big fan of sort of doing a hybrid of online classes with one-on-one -on -one coaching because you really do have that ability to, um, I don't know, to, to create extra versions of yourself that do the talking for you 24 seven when, while you're doing other things. It's really good. <laughs> All right, do we have any other questions, you guys? I will go ahead and show you how I had that set up real quick, just since we're here and we don't have any other questions. I'll show you what the vault looks like, uh, how I have it set up. Um, I just need to log in there real quick. Oh, I'm glad that helps. 
we are here for that. Okay, so I'm going to log in here and see if I can bypass any of this like more privileged information. Okay, so the get growing VIP vault. Okay, here we go. This is what I show you guys. So this is this is one on one, but a lot of the stuff that's in here is used for more than one on one. <laughs> a lot of the stuff that's in here is also available in some places for free, and some places some places are an upsell or a bonus for other things. So inside of this vault, I have this online class where, um, and actually here I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like for clients when they're actually in here. And I do not have interaction in here because this is really designed to be a private vault uh, for people who are working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So they aren't, this is not group. Um, this would be different if we wanted to have uh, you know, a discussion room or something, then this would become more of a group program, but this is for private. So it's got all of these classes in here, but I've got the start here module for onboarding where I'll actually go and reference other other lessons that are inside the same vault. So if I tell them, you know, it's time to work on our visionary brand, um, I actually tell them where to go inside of the vault and what steps to follow and then come back here and upload that information. And then once they're done with this entire setup, um, they then um, get an automated email to get on a call with our designer, which is super cool because this is now a team thing. So. Um, you know, this is literally just set up with online classes, all, all online classes. Um, I don't have payment set up on this one. We actually process a payment separately in this case. It's just a thing that we've all, we've done for a while. Um, but it is something that we could, you know, change. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but all of that is to say when somebody gets added to this vault, I'm actually manually going in, uh, finding that contact in here who probably came in via a discovery call funnel. And I'm simply just adding them to the vault. Right, so when they make payment, I add them to the vault, and now they have access to everything here. Uh, inside the vault, it very clearly says, if you're new here, go to start here, right? So that we can get you started, go through the stuff here, you'll automatically be set up to book with our, uh, you know, for the next steps. So highly recommend that you set up your programs that way, especially if you have a one-on-one -on -one element. Okay, Gigi says, if I send the vault invite email campaign, will it automatically allow them to set up a username and password? Um, do we have a vault invite campaign? Or is it just that like, you've been added to the vault? It's that built-in welcome to vault okay. one that you were showing there. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there isn't one like before that where it says click here to you know like sign up or anything like that. Um, now it could be, I suppose, I mean, you could change the wording to that one and you just add people to the vault and then it would send that email and it'll look like they'd have to do that. But yeah, yeah their username yeah. is their email address and then they can set whatever password. They don't even need a password if they use the app. That's one thing I didn't mention before too. So it nice does thing. make that so much easier. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so the vault, so if you, if you add someone to the vault and you have that campaign attached, they will get that email. Um, and of course, you know, they will then be able to go access the vault. Now they're not going to necessarily get anything or see anything that's in it until they've gone and they've logged in. So, um, oh, good question. How did you set it up to automatically send them an email once they do the last class in the module? Could it be done each time they do a module? Yes. Yes to both. Uh, so let's go and look at the setup for that real quick. So you guys can see was so excited when we added automations because I've wanted to do this for so long. Okay, so here's my start here class. So this is an online class. Now, um, there is an automation down here. Automation to run when the last lesson of the class is completed. I have chosen this, right? Because I want them to finish every one of them because in this case, like this is, you know, it's got done for you and there's a team working on this. So in order for our team to get started with the client, um, then we need to have, you know, A to Z information filled out and available to them so that it makes sense to move forward. So once that's completed, this um, this automation is run, which will, I'll show you real quick, it'll tag them and it'll send them a new email. It adds them to a new campaign and that campaign sends them a link and it also forwards to a link uh, to our uh, designer's calendar now um, so that they can book with them, her personally. Now uh, in here, if you wanted to on your individual lessons, if we scroll down here, you can run automations just the same from lesson to lesson. So if you wanna do that, um, let's just say for instance, maybe you require homework to be uploaded like I do uh, here. So let's just say, pretend like right here is the one. 
So um, if we want to have them watch this video, perform this action, and then after they've done that, we want them to always book a call with us next, then what you would do is on this particular lesson, and I think this is here, let's go find it. So for the visionary brand one, we would actually create an automation and we would connect it right here to run. So that particular automation may be a campaign that says, congratulations, you've completed your visionary brand. Now let's hop on a call together to make sure we're clear about this, right? So you could totally do that. I don't personally choose to do that because I've got some clients who really just don't need me all the time and they wanna go through and move through this content and really kind of put our heads together a little further down the road. So because I work in that more flexible way, it's not what I do, but you could absolutely do that. I think as a, as a wellness coach or a health coach, that would be a really good move, especially if you're doing it week one, week two, week three. So here's our week one checkup and that kind of thing. Very good question. All right, if you add them to the vault, it will send them an email if you have it set up correctly. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good questions, you guys. If we don't have any others, we're gonna get, uh, get going and we're excited to see what you put back together in your vaults, uh, what you build, the programs you launch. Let us know, head over to our Trackwell Facebook group and, uh, and share with us what you're working on uh, and let us know what kind of help you need and maybe what kind of subjects you'd like to see us cover on an upcoming call like this one. We hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you next week, 2 p.m. Bye everybody.